Hi everybody, here's how to use your hiking pole as a spreader pole for two hammocks for a tandem hang. So this is going to be accomplished with a loop of cord on the gathered end of your hammock. So here I have, or here's the continuous loop, and I've just opened the continuous loop up and installed this on here so it can move freely. And this piece is 2.2 millimeter Dyneema Lashet. So to attach my pole, first I'm going to flip a loop and then pull a loop through that loop. So this creates a loop right here that is adjustable. So as you see I'm pulling it like this and as I pull it, it can adjust its, oops, it can adjust its size. So as it pulls through here, the size is adjusting. So I want this one fairly small because this is going to be for this side of my hiking pole. So once I got the loop the size I want, I can hook the hiking pole to it and let this loop that I made rest on one of these lips. And then it will hold my hammock away from my other hammock. Of course this continuous loop right here will be tight with my suspension. And this loop right now is fairly long so normally you would want this to be closer to here. But the fact that this is long is going to allow a difference in hammock lengths for doing tandem because here's your suspension and with the spreader pole being out there it's going to allow movement right here like this without directly affecting the pole as much as if the pole is right here if the pole's right here and you have a hammock that isn't the same ridgeline length it's directly affecting the action of this pole so you can actually make this loop a little bit longer than what you actually need and allow the spreader pole to be out here like this with the suspension here so the suspension would go up to the tree and your hammock would be right here but your spreader pole would be out beyond your hammock a little bit which means as the hammock moved like this from people getting in and out of it it wouldn't directly affect this pole as much instead it would just move on that arc so right now this loop is pretty long but the length of it can help make two hammocks hang together with less uh, interference when two people get into it. And so now for the other side of my pole, I'm doing the same thing. I'm making this loop, but I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So now I'm just going to take this and hook it over here. The loop is actually a little bit bigger than I want. So since most hiking poles are actually the same size right here and at the tip, you can actually tie these loops into here. But with this, you have instant adjustability. So this is how my spreader pole will look on the other end. It'll just hook onto the spreader pole like that. So as an alternative, you can also simply take this loop and flip the lark set into it and let the lark's head go over your pole. For the handle side of the pole, you want it to catch right here where the webbing is and let it close up. And this will hold two hammocks apart. The only thing about that is you have a lark's head right here which can squeeze and jam. So as long as you're comfortable pushing right here on this little bite of cord when you go to take this apart, push on here to get it loose. This will work fine. It's a little more secure, but it can be, it can jam up. So here's the ground side of my pole, and I'm doing the same thing with the lark's head. And once there's some weight on this lark's head, it will cinch close and get very tight. So you just have to remember, when you take this off, you're going to have to push right here. The tendency is to get in here and try to pick this apart, and that can be frustrating. You just want to push on that loop, and once you push on that loop, It'll give you leverage to open the lark set up and it'll come off. So it's simply a loop that's added to your continuous loop. And the loop will allow you to do two things. Either put a lark set to go over your pole or 
quickly add an adjustable size loop. The adjustable size loop is really cool because instead of tying loops in here that are specific to your hiking pole, if by chance someone else is setting up your tandem hammocks and they have a different tip on here or they just have their poles flipped the other way, you can quickly adjust the size of the loop. So whatever end of the pole and whatever you're using, it could even be a stick, can have a perfectly sized loop to use as a spreader pole attachment. Something you might notice, this loop does tend to try to pull the lark's head apart. So to reduce that, you can take your loop and feed it through here. So now the loop kind of has a lark's head effect on the continuous loop. Or you can simply completely remove this loop and do it another way. So now I'm going to take the loop off. And so this situation, I'm going to close this back up. Put my continuous loop back on the hammock like normal. And now I'm going to take this part right here and lark set it. And there's actually other ways. Really, this is only limited by your creativity. But you can install this loop just like this. And it will still have the function of being able to connect to a pole and spread the hammock. So, that's it. That's just a way to add a loop to the end of your hammock that can be adjustable to allow you to use uh, trekking poles and pretty much any other pole for a spreader pole for a tandem hammock setup. Thanks for watching.